speaking of Instagrams, Doovie, before we get to anything, Doovie, salute to Doovie. I did a news story quickly on it, um, news from the six report, okay? I put in 17 Doovie. First of all, you know you're lit when you have bare fake pages popping up under your name. Fan pages. Look how many pages pop up under 17 Doobie. Shade, I don't, I can't remember where he said he was from the Rex, but I, I know specifically the man said he's from the Rex at some point in time. You right? Uh, listen, we'll leave it alone. I'm already expecting the DMs like, yo fam, I'm from the Rex. Like, stop dissing me on your stupid fucking YouTube lives, bro, you old head pussy. <laughs> right? And then I gotta be calm down, calm down. It's not that serious. You know how I go. Let's see here. No Doovie account, but bare fake us. Doovie's account has been deleted. When I first did the report, I did it from the from the um, perspective of I'm not sure. Um, I I um maybe sometimes rappers delete their own account because they got something big coming up, and there was speculation about that too, right? That um he might have deleted his own account just because he has some some more corporate things coming up, some more all ages events and different things like that, right? But. It has been said through, I think it's through Reddit. Let me see if I could find it on Reddit. One second. That he came back and he said um, through a Snapchat or something like that, that Instagram actually deleted his account. Hold on, let me see if I can find it on Reddit. You know, Reddit always finds out what, what really, really, really is going on. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's see. Doovie. 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 Uh, so ready. Uh, two days ago, boom, exploded and turned a new track. Uh, see. Yo, the mockery that people write up on reddit yo holy shit um hold on i'm just trying to see if i could find it here well i'll put it up on the screen so y'all can see what i'm looking at i'm on torontology salute to max distance salute to torontology chiracology Hold on, let me see what y'all are seeing here. Let me go on to ontology. What? Yo, what are y'all saying in here, bro? Second Childhood said, just broke Mom Duke's furniture watching Comic View. BT Comic View? That's the one? Let's see here. Da, 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 da. New local city music. Yo, what happened to local city? Jesus Christ. Yo, the city has mad shit going on, eh? Even when it don't have shit going on, there's still shit going on. I'm trying to find something on Doobie with his account. Okay. Let's see here. What's this about? So this is his new music video. Uh, I'm gonna find this shit. Here we go. 
Doobie goes trending without IG. If Doobie was clicked in with all those American artists. Uh, okay, here we go. Uh, da, 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 da. Maybe they told me in fucking in my comments. It might be in the fucking comments on 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 um we love hip hop YouTube. One second. Uno momento. There we go. Doobie. Account deleted. What's good, YouTube? This is your boy, Friday Ricky. You're right here with another news from this. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. Someone reported it. Um, okay, here it is. He shared a screenshot of on, on his snap. It said he suspended for displaying dangerous individuals and organizations. Y'all can see that on the screen? Salute in the tavern. Okay, on our YouTube comments. So basically, I, and this is just from what this gentleman is saying. Instagram deleted his page for showing dangerous individuals and organizations. What is going on out here, fam? Like, it's almost like Instagram is, well, Instagram's working with the police. This is what I'm convinced of at this point. Like, it's not even like a, a hidden thing. It's like right in our face. Because what constitutes dangerous individuals, organizations from my friends and just fucking young, young men and women? Right? Like, the same could be said about we love hip hop then. You know what I'm saying? How many people that I interview, how many people that we interviewed on this channel? That some of them have been in high profile cases. So are we displaying dangerous people and organizations too? If I go on my Instagram right now, it's still there. Something all right. I know people are saying that it could be or it could report it. But if this is if I'm just going by what this gentleman said or, or a young lady, I don't know, right? In the tavern. He shared a screenshot on his snap. It said, suspended for displaying dangerous individuals and organizations. Okay? So if that's true, how does Instagram pick and choose whose organizations and then dangerous individuals from these are my friends and family. Right? How do they how do they know what the difference is? It would have to be reporting people reporting his page at that point. Yo, Fuzzy, what up? <laughs> Listen. I just thought that that was hella fishy. That this guy who has a verified page, okay? It kind of irked me too, okay? Because Doobie don't even be posting that much. You know what I'm saying? It's not like Doobie's on live every day. Um, you know, flashing guns, smoking mad weed, drinking lean. 
No. I barely see this nigga on Instagram. However, all of a sudden, his Instagram gets packed. What part of the game is that? It makes me think of, okay, if his Instagram can get packed for his lack of activity that he has on his shit, what about the motherfuckers who are posting daily, hourly? Holy, yo, every week I get more worried about the different accounts that I'm, that I'm controlling and shit. I'm like, holy shit. Uh, Am I going to open Instagram and it's going to be, uh, oh, you know, your Instagram has been deleted because we don't like what you did today. What the fuck? Am I going to open YouTube and be like, oh, you know, you have another strike because we decided today these are strikes, but yesterday they were okay. You know what I'm saying? You never know when they're going to move the fucking goalpost. It's actually pissing me off. Because it's like, they look, it's like almost like they're looking at your progress and as soon as you get to a certain level, they're like, oh, actually, you're not supposed to do that. Eh, boop, right back down to where you're supposed to be, nigger. And it... <laughs> And the only reason I put a, I put some race in there because it's racial. If Doofy was a if Doofy was a white rapper singing about the same shit, he would have an Instagram that has ten times the amount of followers. Okay, his favoritism in the algorithm on YouTube would have him with millions of more viewers and he'd be out of there. Okay, don't get it twisted. They're not really favoring like Jack Harlow. Thank you. Jack Harlow. But you, listen fam. That's a whole other story, right? And, and Trini, you're saying some true shit. In America, he'd be safe to a degree, but in Canada, they're going to hate. Oh, hell yeah. They on that Shania Twain shit over here. They ain't trying to hear all these niggas get rich. We're not going to act... And, you know, this, the conversation of infrastructure has come up on the podcast multiple times. And sometimes, there's been many times where I've refuted it. I'm like, nah, we don't have enough numbers. But hip-hop is the leading art form in the world. I'm sure that we have enough hip-hop fans if the, the media platforms started really spreading out the, um, the money and the... Um, the visibility, if they started spreading it out equally, you would see how much more rappers would be getting rich without having to leave this country, without even having to tour. You know what I'm saying? Just off of the opportunities they get from endorsements and commercials and different things like that, from having their visibility be pushed as far as like a Jan Arden, okay? A fucking Ann Murray. You know they've been pushing the same old Canadian old foots in your face for how many freaking years? And then they get a couple of new ones and they're like, yo, love them. Headley, they're the best. Until the Headley nigga starts touching too many gal. Mm-hmm. I seen that, bro. You know what I'm saying? Let all these motherfuckers, yo, let me be doing a fucking podcast that covers fucking um, white rock bands. We'd be out of here. I wouldn't have to be worrying about going to the United States to get this shit popping. You know what I'm saying? Let me be covering hockey. I'd be out of here. Not me. Oh, the white version.
So when they say, oh, you guys have, what's the word that they used? Dangerous individuals and organizations. That's fucking cap. I demand brethren, yo. So the niggas who grew up in the same hood as with, with you, when you put them on the ground with you in your fucking music videos, now all of a sudden they're dangerous individuals and organizations. Yo, Instagram, suck my dick. I hear that thing. Yo, salute to Dubio. Now I'm convinced Instagram is hating. There was a point in time I used to be like, nah, you know, yo, salute to Gutsy. I used to tell him like, bro, it's, you got to watch the content and that be true. You still have to watch what you put up on Instagram, but they do be hating too. Especially if you're a black creator, we're not even going to get into the TikTok shit. I don't have fucking four hours to rant on them motherfuckers. Anyhow, speaking of um, deep, flat, uh, deep platform people, 